Hey, we're back. Wallace has been standing there very patiently. Now let's unlock these locks, shall we? Okay. I'm, I'm curious to see where the locks are, actually. The porcelain oh, it's actually in the painting. In yeah. The porcelain slot. Of course. It's hiding and the painting changes as they <laughs> get released. It's uh, hiding in plain sight, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Gold key, gold lock. You could show the keys around if you want to brag about them a little, but I don't. Oh no, they're not wearing berets. They're those, like, old-timey hats. I, I don't know what the hell they're called. Why did you click Duncan? I was hoping I'd unlock his heart. And then he'd turn back into you. Looks like a match. Yeah, it we like did it. Me. Now they're happy. And there's the deed. Ooh. It's the deed. We've done it. The deed, that is. Mm. It appears to be genuine. So you see, PC Plod, <laughs> Prickly Thicket has a wee golf course after all. I see. And where is this land exactly? Well... If you can't even establish that, gentlemen, I don't see how... Gangway! Gangway! Used to be in reconnaissance, don't you know? Damn hand at topography. Let me see now. Bit of a rise to the north, river bisecting the 11th fairway, grove of oaks to the west. Interesting. Wait, what? what is it? Naturally, some of the landmarks have disappeared in the intervening years, but if my guess is correct, the 18th green is located precisely on the spot of ground now known as... 62 West Wallaby Street. Well, I'll be. And it's not just my house that's in danger. If Chairman McBiscuit gets his way, the golf course will end up covering most of the... Oh! But I'm still <laughs> jiggered if I understand why you're playing golf through the middle of town. If I win the Chairman's Tournament, I'll be named Chairman of Brickley Thicket, Mrs. Gabbley. It's only... Okay, so we do get at least an actual golf tournament out of this. The chairman's tournament got to be played here. Well, uh, as the deeds show, Mrs. G, uh, we're standing on the site of the original Prickly Thicket golf course. Uh, you see, it's all very logical if you have stopped to think about it. <laughs> yes, very logical. But let's face it, Pat. You haven't a prayer. Oh, I'm not chucking in the trilby just yet. I've still two holes to play, remember? And I've Have got one in a trilby in any of the shorts. The greatest helper a golfer ever had. Me remote activated auto caddy. Watch this. It's the wrong trousers. I guess the right trousers uh, this time. Uh, uh, okay, Comet. How do you like to man the controls for a while, huh? <laughs> I think that's a sensible thing. Give up new while you're still behind. Have you not been humiliated enough? Not by half. Uh, which way to the next key? Well, let's make things interesting at least. Two holes left to play. The wee short hole starts here. And it ends... <laughs> Play over there! What a shock! All in one for Chairman McBiscuit. He's on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. Now he swaggers to the 18th tee. The long hole starts right here. And it ends... <sighs> Buy it! What a bobby dazzler! Clean out of sight! Hey, Pania! Where's it going to come down then? Let me see now. He doesn't know where his own shot's gonna yes, land. That would be uh, oh boy. 62 West Wallaby Street. Oh yeah. No, you can play the two holes in either order. 
play them both at the same time if you like. First man to finish, the pair of them wins the tournament. What do you say? I say, uh, that's a very sporting offer. I accept. Right then, I'm afraid I haven't got time to hang around here and watch you muff your shorts. I have a victory party to get to. You'd best follow me back to the 18th green, Paneer. You'll not want to miss commentating on my match-winning putt. Hmm. Now then, which hole shall we tackle first? Yay! Uh, we'll go for the short hole. Let's give the short hole a try. Oh, we're actually playing Gromit now. Okay. <clears throat> Police. Oops. Oh dear, that's going to be a tough shot. A spectacular shot, ladies and gentlemen. Spectacularly bad, that is. Straight into the sewer. Another stroke of misfortune for the underdog Wallace. Underdog. So wait a minute, how are we? <laughs> how are we gonna actually win this? <laughs> well, simple. We just need this fan. I mean, if Duncan's hey, off to already play at the 18th it. hole. I need it to keep cool. Eh, you know what, I'll just move it. Hey, no. Never mind. Hey, can't make a decision to save his life, that one. Go help him choose a club, else we'll be here all night. Hmm. Let's collect stuff. Yoink! So what was that? Hey, what's that thing on the pavement? It's a little uh, note that he dropped. Some instructions on finding that last hole. Now we're gonna go into the sewer. Nothing for it but to take the plunge, eh, lad? Not exactly a picnic in the garden, but at least it's dry down here, eh, Chuck? Now to locate the ball Dry? And it back in a sewer? Wouldn't be too difficult, uh... You uh -huh. must be kind of smelly. Oh dear. Now we've lost the ball in a pack of mushrooms. Ah, so we need Mrs. I mean, sorry, Miss Flit's uh, antifungal thingy. <laughs> yeah. That sounds disgusting, but okay. Well, first thing we gotta do is get her into the sewer. That doesn't make any sense. Like they, it's, they say it's dry, but fungi specifically uh, thrive in moist conditions. Here at beautiful 62 West Wallaby Street. If you're just joining us, I'm Mr. Paneer. I'm here with top seeded player Duncan McBiscuit. We're on the green of the 18th hole. At least uh, we think this is the green for the he, 18th hole. He can't find the hole. Honest, we're having a right old to do trying to find the actual hole. Are you positive this is the spot? Well, I copied me notes straight from the old deed. 13 length southwest of the tree, it says. Maybe you're measuring with the wrong club. There's only one official prickly thicket measuring club, and this is it. <laughs> yes, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The thrilling finale to a thrilling contest. Stay tuned. Okay, well, that makes a little bit more sense, like, why we haven't already drama. lost. <laughs> yeah, thanks, by the way. It isn't over yet. Not till the ball goes into the cup. Here at the end of the... You're not taking this measuring club. Not till I've found the hole and sunk my butt. Yeah, we'll take it later. Let's just look at this. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Right now, we need Mr. Pernier to go check on Wallace. How's Wallace doing? He's at about... He just... Uh... That's a good question. I'd better check on Wallace. Me listeners won't want to miss anything important. Huh. Oh, no, no, don't look at the sign. Go through the door. You've gotten oh, quiet. <laughs> there, there, my dear. What? <laughs> mushrooms. Yes, not a mushroom. Definitely not a mushroom. 
There he is, and there's no polite way to say this, down in the sewer, flailing about with his clubs in the filth. And they called him the Rookie of the Year. Who would have thought Wallace would end up down there? Yes, it's happened. Just as I said it would. He's finally hit rock bottom. And only I can save him, his angel of mercy. I'm coming, my poor, addle-headed, perfect fool. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Interesting. And yeah, while we're here, let's take stuff. Mm -hmm. Are we finally going to get that bread, or is it is this just completely un irrelevant? No, oh, it's completely irrelevant. I just like bread. Okay. Anywho. The other miss the other miss split doesn't seem too concerned. <laughs> nah, probably not. I'll be back for you later, Mr. McBusket. Or should I say, the other Hanu. Anywho. No, we're not going to the clubhouse. We're going... Is there something we need to do at the clubhouse, though? Still, it's a beautiful day Brilliant question. Us, it? And maybe but it'll get an answer soon. Hmm. This th is Mr. Paneer, you think they'll let me do this? What? Face it, Wallace is never going to be able to hit that thing to his house. What? It's not cheating, it's clever. Oh, there you are, Gromit. You're no luck down here, I'm afraid. If only these pesky mushrooms hadn't- Wallace! Miss Flynn? So it's true! You finally hit rock bottom! As great art Prudent said you would! You know, this actually no such thing as a great aunt. So quickly. It's your, officially, uh, yeah, official, officially, like, that's, uh, it's your, uh, classified as a cousin of some sort. It's your, um, it's your grandma's sister. Yeah, 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 but there's not, but you wouldn't act, but it's not actually yeah, called it a great aunt. Don't you want to hear her heroic talk? And music and mushrooms? Ah! Ah! Out of here! Get me out of here! Oh, you poor thing, you've had a fright! Everywhere! Everywhere! Mushrooms! Come up to the flat, love. I'll fix you a nice cup of tea. I had a feeling sure that in hell there would be mushrooms. <laughs> Anyway, now she's out of the way. Yeah, I felt kind of bad about that, but not really. And what a tournament you know, that actually kind of spookily has a bit of a look of the uh, scene in Secret of Monkey Island when you go down the monkey head the first time, and you do see the mushrooms. Oh, that's how we got Gabberly out of the way. Ah, we're setting it up. Yep, and my name okay. is Peterson. Which club to use? Oh, what do you think, lad? I say nay. Brassy shot. Like a horse? Think? No, 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 not brassy shot. Eh, you gotta love a ball that's consistent, at least. No, not a brassy shot. <laughs> Actually, I wanted this one. It's in the cup, ladies and gents. Fires has sunk his ball. Bringing his score down to just... Did they see... 198 to 213? 235 over par. But the tournament ain't over yet. You know, Gromit, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this game. Yeah, totally. I'll take the controls now, lad. Do we actually need the mushrooms? I guess so. I don't know. You could show one to uh, Miss Flit and she'll spray it away. But she's already gone. It'll take a good strong club to get me all the way to West Wallaby Street. Which one to choose? Hmm. This one. Ah, yes. 
the Ganges grip. Uh, not the best club for the occasion, perhaps. I love that shot. Yeah, the animation is pretty good. Oh, that, oh, that's the mushroom. Okay. Actually, actually, it looked like it honestly looked like a golf ball on a tee. Weirdly. Hey, Dibbins, I need you to do your mailing. Very busy today, Gromit. Go past to somebody else. Hmm. All right, let's get the ball hit straight into that post office, shall we? Any, many, miny this one. Ah, me blistering iron. <laughs> That's. Uh, let me try that once more. Uh, now, which club to use? Oh, what do you think, lad? Hmm. Uh. Hang on, I think we forgot something in here. Is there, is there actually anything else? Oh, well, there's another golf ball. What's this? I think it's a glitch. Take possibly. A strong club to get me all the way to West Wallaby Street. Which one to choose? Actually, we don't even get to choose, so we'll just go ahead and use a club. Let's try the bouncing rock. Oh yeah, it does look exactly like the other one. Kind of like the ice cream in the previous episode. There we go. Ah, oh, it went to the post the box. The flag isn't in the post box, eh, Gromit? Hmm. <laughs> Got to See? play the ball from where it lies, I reckon. Technically, we didn't cheat. Yeah, I'm just curious, like, how many times has uh, Duncan hit his ball uh, in order to, in order for him to lose this game? Or, oh yeah, no, no, no. The rule was that, you know, that uh, they had whoever got it in first. Yeah. <clears throat> They're basically abandoning the normal rules of golf. Yeah. He uh, made that bet thinking Wallace had no chance of winning. And L Duncan's just been digging up, digging at the hallway. Put that Wallace's ball! Oh no, this hallway ain't big enough for the both of us. You didn't see that, and neither did you. See what? And here comes Wallet. I said, you're no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 18th and final flag of ye golf course shall be found. 13 grabbers or the. Order the use unit of measure approved by the blog founder Roy McBiscuit. The flag shall be found one l length of the 13th measure club southwest of the oak tree. Interesting. Aye, it is an interesting you know puzzle. Here, have a mushroom. You daft doggy, that's my ball! No, reckon it's only a mushroom. <laughs> How's Wallace doing? Can't rightly say, but I can guess. Awful. Hey, we be needing that measuring club, I'm afraid. Found the ball, lad. Now, uh, which club to use? It'd help if I knew where the hole was. Uh, 
So he's looking at uh, looking for it in the wrong place. I thought we would use that <clears throat> piece of paper to trick him into thinking it's somewhere else, but no, I guess not. No, actually, it's because he missed. He lost one that he they measured wrong. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm. I, I got from that previous uh, picture. All right, now we're gonna go back to the club. Give no, not. He squints. He licks a finger and tests the wind. He stoops to examine his lie. He calibrates the angle of the... We just need to distract Duncan a little is all. Ah, joke book. Okay. Hey, Major Chrome, do you have any candy? Ah, private! Thrilling game, what? Heart hasn't raced like yeah. this since the old days back in the trenches. Had some jolly putting contests down there, we did. Hey, and jolly indeed. Wallace, the most a challenger, hot on the Have you ever played mini golf? Is yes. Fast and furious here okay. Yeah. Putt putt golf, also uh, known as. Are you, are you any good at it? <laughs> hey, was the name is V lad. No, I'm very mediocre oh, at it. Are you good at it? Yeah. Ah, fairly so, but our mini golf courses are pretty boring. <laughs> oh, or do you do you have it? Do, is that yes, just a movie thing, or do you actually have, have like things like the like freaking like windmills and things? Yeah. Or is it more like it's it's like terrain obstacles? It depends on where you go. Yeah. I say, I say, I say. Might surprise you to hear it. But I'm a scratch golfer and all. You? A scratch golfer? That's right. I write down all me good scores and scratch off all the bad ones. And scratch off all the bad ones! <laughs> wow, he really likes those golf jokes. <laughs> Don't you? Ah, so that's the that's the dealio with that. Aurelio. Now let's find yield oak tree or whatever. What are you up to, lad? Okay. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> yep, I love the flag. That's got like all like, like it's been eaten away. All right, so how we're gonna master this? Good looks can be deceiving. Which club should I use? Do you think? Ganji's grip. What do you think? Well, no, it, that would just go straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no fun. Hey. Ah, so Mr. Nutter hey, still had a role to play. Yes, yeah, that's just this thing. Something from it. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a nut on you, would you? Well, let's find out. And let me guess, when we hit the ball, he's gonna just do that again. Yeah. We'll give him a mushroom. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah, that mushroom looks kind of cute being held with tiny hands. I'm yeah, sure I, don't, I do not like the fact that he's still covered in that nut jam. Or not. Butter. But, yeah, nut Another butter. Try. Looks Ooh. really gross. Whatever. Let's just give this a go. There's still one more chapter. Well, sort of. One more major puzzle, at least. What's this? With a little help from a squirrel. Thanks, Mr. Nutter. How just happened again? <laughs> you did it? He did it, ladies and gentlemen. Wallace has completed the eighteenth hole of the ancient but rediscovered prickly thicket course. Consider it jam and biscuit still has 
hasn't even located the 18th hole. I hereby declare Horace winner of the chairman's tournament and the new chairman of Friendly Thicket. You got the ball again. Yeah, I noticed. It's true. Yeah, it has the post, yeah, Indeed, post, ad, postal the address on it. The reign of Duncan McBiscuit has come to an end. All, All hail, hail Chairman, Chairman Wallace. Wallace! They're off sync. Oh, uh, uh, no need to make a fuss on my account. Oh, but there is, Wallace. Heard the entire game on the wireless. This is a new beginning for Prickly. Ooh, Dickens. that's a... That's an old-timey way of saying the radio. For all. Right, Wallace? Uh, well, uh, that is... Yes, uh, I certainly hope so. As Gromit will attest, I've always been very... Gromit. No dogs allowed in the club, lad. You'll have to wait outside. Now, for my first official Aww. act as chairman... Three trumpets for all? Uh, no, Major Crumb. My first official act will be to tear up old Roaring McBiscuit's deed and to save West Wallaby Street from the bulldozer. Ah, yeah, of course. Jolly good. Jolly good. You carry on, Wallace. Where is he? Where is that wee bogan bump watch? Uh, you mean Chairman Wallace? He's around the corner, tearing up the deed. He cannot do that. Oh, but he can. Tournament's over, and he won it fair and square. But eh. you're forgetting about the sudden death round. Sudden death? Aye, the round where I make sure he meets a sudden death. Oh, oh boy. Don't, don't touch him. Well, that, that escalated quickly. In the name of the law. I hereby serve notice for immediate closure. Aye, again. For violation of local bylaw number 682, which prohibits the feeding of Polyporus pilus, commonly known as the ball shaped mushroom, Tuscurus calinensis, or your commoner garden grey squirrel. And as the Oh, that's a grey squirrel. Okay, Squirrus vulgaris is the red squirrel. No choice, but to. Uh, Sorry, it down, Latin there. The and we're here to see you do your duty. That's right. Prickly Thicket has caused quite enough trouble. Kindly point me to the chair. He's doing a lot of pointing now. Who's been looking about with the oscillating fan? It don't oscillate no more. <laughs> Suppose I'd better join them. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want to miss out on this. Well, uh, I haven't actually done anything yet. As you can see, we're packed like a pressure cooker full of sardines. And I wanted to discuss our options before... Discuss? Copycock, are you a waffler or a leader, Wallace? Well, uh, uh, that is, I, uh, 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 leaders, uh, 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 a locked room puzzle, my favorite. There's a simple way to deactivate the lock. It's a Why won't the sand just come out the window? From the roof. Uh, no need to panic. Uh, uh, I have an idea. That head is so clearly floating above the sand. Uh, but to put it into effect. I'll need to shift over to the window. Hey, look, we gotta find it, puzzle. That's it. Move at the striking range. Uh, oh, but you can't put Wallace next to Duncan. Uh, Major Crow, ah, okay. could you slide into the empty space? Among others. Flanking maneuver, eh? Brilliant strategy. And Flanking. This little lady will not move next to any member of the Prickly Pickles. So we have to move the constable. Yeah. Constable Technically, Dickens, she wouldn't be next to. Move over. I'll give the orders here if you don't mind. 
and I'm ordering myself to move over. You realize, <laughs> okay, nice. Mr. Paneer, we could have avoided this outcome if you'd have chosen a different candidate for membership. You're in the club now, ain't you? Satisfied? Keep your distance, young man. I refuse to allow it. Oh, poop. Could you shift over a bit, Mrs. Gabberly? Oh, I'll have a go. Uh, now, Miss Split, if you could simply shift your weight, uh, <laughs> uh, into the empty space. This is intolerable. Are you going to do it? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Miss Split, uh, I wonder if you could just wiggle over. Big pardon? Uh, into the empty space. Oh. Mr. Paneer, if uh, you wouldn't mind sliding... Eventually he stops doing that. Like this? Uh, I guess when, once you address everyone. Could you perhaps shift your weight over a bit? I'd like to shift my fist onto your hooter for getting us into this scrape. Don't hooter. please. All right, lassie, all right. Major Crumb. One step ahead of you, Wallace. Come okay, on, so this is closer. gonna be the tricky part. I wanna give you a hug. <laughs> I doubt that Once somehow. Perhaps I will. Perhaps I won't. Hmm. Miss Flit, could you uh... Aren't you doing it wrong now? Uh, hello, uh, Felicity. No, because I gotta get Duncan out of the way. Why'd you do it, Felicity? Why'd you wanna throw me over for an empty like Wallace? I'm not interested in Wallace anymore. I'm not interested in any man who golfs. I bet I'd have given it up for you, Lassie. Oh, gosh. You would. Yeah, I noticed that, too. <laughs> from the moment you first brushed me off, I can't you were the one for me. I tried to put my feelings into rhyme, but, oh, I'm no good with words. Your eyes are as deep as the murkiest look. Your teeth are as straight as black blue rock. You remember it? Oh, of course I did. Your eyes aren't too shabby either. Aw, oh, rekindled. <clears throat> now, Mr. Paneer, if you move over, I know. Mr. McBiscuit. Ah, oh, shit, you're giggy, I'm shifting. Mm. All right, yeah, now we've moved everybody. Mrs. Gabberly? Say no more, Pat. Good, otherwise this is going to take whole, the whole day. <laughs> yeah, that does look kind of dumb that Wallace is the only one whose head is like... That's it. Like that. Ah. Striking range. Uh... Yeah, can't make it easy, can you? No, but watch this. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we did it. Come a little closer. I want to give you a hug. Uh... Bloody hell. I thought she'd have a trouble with Biscuit. Um, Miss Fleet? What an impertinence! Oh, hush you. Yeah, it's one of those. Comfortable. Neither possible nor permissible under current building or regulations. His face is continuing to break up. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah, I noticed so that. Here we are. Oh, much obliged, everyone. Now Crown wasn't over there. <laughs> this horrible continuity. <laughs> Oh, that's what you needed to do. That was his plan. Yep. Is there actually... Oh! Well, things got intense. Yes. Intense. Wow. Would you like to save this finale for the next episode, or just do it? I mean, uh, if, it, if we can do it in this episode, sure. 
It's the last. Oh, so it's like a boiler or something. What's taking you so long, lad? Uh, will you be quiet? <laughs> Got it. Gotta get it. I love that running animation. <laughs> That's great. Get us out of here! Yeah. All right. So, what are we? What are we trying to do? Get them out of there. Well, yeah, but how are we gonna do that? I could ring a bell for you. Will that cheer you up? Lend a hand, lad. A shift up, pull. Mm. So, what about the other bell? What about oh, the other yeah, bell? Oh yeah, there's another bell, isn't there? You're right. Everything's better with tea. What, do we just throw that in the fire? Whoa! What? Is there a hole? Is there supposed to be a hole there? Uh -huh. It kind of looks like, like it just kind of glitched through. <laughs> How do you like their pleads? Help! Help! What a terrible situation here! Will somebody help? You see, it's right there behind the flyer place. Help! Yeah, I know. Help! Will someone open this door? We need some help! Will someone get out of here? We're suffocating in here! Are you never. Are, are you just not gonna reach it? Yes, not. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, do we just do we just use the T on one of the paintings? Yeah. Ow. Well, actually, I need that. Gosh, dang it! I can't. Oh, yeah, the chest. Yeah, can you can you just tell me what you're trying to do? Well, we gotta use that golf. We gotta. Yeah, we gotta use the golf cleaner. Well, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Why don't you? I don't know. Uh, not that. Oh, wrong bell. Get us out of here! Oh, right. Yeah, uh... Yeah, could you now please tell us what you're trying to do? This. Okay. We need that tea to continuously fall. Oh! Okay. Good thing they've got an endless supply of teas and cup. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's step one. Now we're gonna take this club out. Help! Get us out of here! Help! And we'll help, use I it on help. the clock. Help! Please help! Help! I'm trapped! I can't move the arms at all! Look at... No! Not... Help! Please. Ah! Okay. Uh, help! It's Mr. Buddy in here! Please help us! That's interesting. Yeah, this is it. reminding me a little bit of like uh, Seventh Guest, which I was playing just recently. Like, especially the texture on the fireplace for some reason. Oh, there's it. Yeah, that's the door. That's the door. Yeah. Done. That's all she wrote, folks. Whew. Thanks, lad. Close friends are a fine thing, but that was a bit too close. Well, why people are so keen on country clubs is a mystery to me. Then you meant what you said in there. I wonder where all the sand went. Quitting prickly thicket. For you, a little sprig of healing. Uh, just a second, Felicity. I don't oh, think I've been introduced to the so scum man. Romantic. 
Sand bath. Most invigorating. Cleans out the pores. Reminds me of the good old days in the Sahara. You know, Constable Divins, I hear on Grapevine there may be another, uh, opening at Prickly Thicket. And I've heard a certain grocery shop may be reopening soon, too. <laughs> well, old And everybody was happy. Golden <laughs> Retrieval's first professional investigation has gone rather... <clears throat> Wallace, this is rather awkward for me to say. I, I, I mean, I know your feelings about me. Oh, uh, you do? You see, in the heat of adversity, I've discovered that my heart belongs to another. Oh, uh, right -o. So, please, don't say anything to prolong our agony. I must therefore return this to you. Ha! <laughs> oh, heck, lad. That's two close shaves in one afternoon. I don't know about you, but I could murder a copper. Oops. Hang on, just a sec. Time for some cheese, me thinks, Gromit. What do you fancy, lad? What, what did he do? <laughs> he, ri he ripped up the deed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the final one I didn't even realize. Yep, yeah. that's it. Not, not much, yeah, not, not, not much of a reference to the bogeyman. You know, mm. you know what a bogey is, right? A bugger? No, no, I mean in golfing terms. Uh, bad shot, I don't know. <laughs> bogey is a... I think it, that's like one over par, maybe, I'm not entirely sure. You know, birdie is one under par, uh, an eagle is two, and then an albatross is three. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I played Mario Golf a little while ago, so that's why I remember those things. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of the episode and end of the sish, this little adventure series. What'd you think? I think my favorite is... Uh, I think my favorite is still the third episode. Like this, this one. The second, this, you mean? The, the, what? You mean the second? Uh, Who done it was the second episode. Last ep last time you said well, episode yeah, two was your favorite. I, I did like the second episode too, but yeah, it's it's a toss up between the two, the second and the third one. Like I remember when I rewatched the third episode, actually, like, actually really like that. But this, this one, it felt like the beginning felt like a bit of a, felt like it was a little bit rushed. Hmm. And I did think the golf course, like the revelation of the golf course was kind of funny. I made yeah. it I made it seem pretty short, but these were actually some pretty tricky puzzles. Took me a while the first time I played it. Well, yeah, that, that T one, that, that was definitely a hard, a hard one. And... Yeah. Uh, and also, like, yeah, the the painting one, like, that's definitely the kind of puzzle that that's gonna take a while to figure out. But as a whole, eh, what'd you think? Of the game as a whole, I think this was actually a pretty good game. Like, it didn't feel like too, it didn't feel like too easy uh, either. I'm mean, actually now that I'm thinking about it, I don't actually remember the first episode very well. Uh, it involved uh, bees and honey. It, yeah, the bees, the bees. But yeah, that. Yeah, and I, I don't really remember it too well. Like, I remember the second one and the third one much better. I remember the first... I, I guess, I, I, guess pr I prefer this over the first episode at any rate. So it's yeah. uh, second from the bottom. <laughs> well, the, yeah. fir well, the first one I remember a lot for that breakfast puzzle. I don't know, just felt kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. I think I think this is a, this is a good game. I... I I'm surprised they haven't done more. Well, now Telltale's not around anymore, so... <laughs> this game... This game's been out for quite a long time. Yeah, I know. I know. It's one of those I really hoped would get a second season, but didn't. It's the shortest of the Telltale series that I know of. Only four episodes. Hmm. Yeah. Any words I don't on remember, Telltale? Yeah, I don't remember how many more... Uh, I, 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 Well, there was the Bone game that they did. Like That was like their very first adventure game, but... That was pretty short too, but that was because they kind of canceled it part of the way in. They only got a couple of episodes done, 
So I don't know. It's either that or this. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, this this series was released in 2009. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, boy. But I, I just, I don't know. It's really charming. How can you not like Wallace and Gromit? Yeah, exactly. Well, do you think it um, represented them well enough? I think so. I, I think it felt it felt appropriate, and I like the uh, the cast of characters as well. They felt kind of appropriate. Although like, they made that whole city seem pretty short. <laughs> I mean, pretty, made that whole city's population feel pretty small. I wonder if there's only like what six people that live there. <laughs> oh yeah, but I, I I thought it was nice, and I, I, I and I felt it like. They felt very appropriate for the uh, the whole feeling of Wallace and Gromit. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I'm not sure exactly if those characters have appeared in anything else. Mm. So that's 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 the one thing that I was kind of left puzzled about. I don't even remember any of the characters from the movie, like the uh, or the the the, the were rabbit one. There was that lady from the store that Wallace was flirting with. She was in the in that movie, Gabberly. Okay. First yeah. Time, first time I saw Flit, I thought that was her. It wasn't. What is? Who's your favorite character? I don't know. I, I guess it goes a, a toss up. If we're not counting Wallace and Gromit themselves, then I think it might have been Gabberly. And I did like the uh, the the uh, the muzzle guy, the the villain in the third episode. I thought he was quite good. I mean, that's that's kind of what I liked. I liked both of them. Because, the second one more for the setting. The third one actually for the story better. I like they were the pretty good. They're pretty even, Stevens, actually. I like the third one because it was just hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Twitch is cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bring up Twitch one last time. <laughs> okay, Twitch, Twitch is another favorite character. Yeah, he, 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 I, I, I really liked him. Yeah. Mm. You know, I said from episode one, Mrs. Gabberly would be your favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gee, gee, well, you, your guess was right. Yeah. And turns out Duncan McBiscuit is not another you. How sad. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Any final words for this Let's Play? No, not not much. Uh, uh, hope people check this out and all your other Let's Plays as well. Mm, I don't know what's next, but thank you all for watching. This is... I've played through this at least twice before, but it's just one I wanted to visit again. It, it's kind of just that charming game you just like playing, you know? Yeah. Hey, maybe Hanu will play it himself one day. Yeah. Who knows? Well, All right. check him out at youtube.com backslash Huntoon. It's still that, right? Yeah, yeah Hunter 2. Yeah, exactly, H yeah. H-A-N-D-E-T-O-O-N. -O -O and yeah. that's emeraldrangers.com for me and Light Studios, or Sendu. Well, thanks for everyone. Hanu, thanks a million for joining me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> it's been fun, but till next time, bye bye. See you on the next one. Bye.